Hi there, TRW crew. Matt Vassallo here with the RhinestoneWorld.com. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome design like this baseball mom design from scratch in the TRW Stone Wizard for a Corel Draw. So as many of you know, the TRW Stone Wizard is the most widely used and user-friendly rhinestone and multi-decoration software for Corel Draw in the industry. So we have thousands of users of the TRW Stone Wizard right now that are all happy. They all love the software, how easy it is to create designs, and obviously our support on the software to teach you how to use it. I always tell people, it doesn't matter if you spend $200 or $2,000 on a software. If you don't know how to use the software, it's worthless okay so that's why we have over a thousand tutorial videos to teach you everything about the trw stone wizard and how awesome it can be to help build your business so this awesome looking baseball mom design here i'm going to create this from scratch in the trw stone wizard and show you how easy it is to create something unique like this in the software okay so this is the actual design that we're going to create here and this is the actual design here completed. So we're going to create this from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this right here and show you how easy this is. Now, I'm not going to go slow on this. I'm going to I'm going to go through it pretty quickly here and just to show you how easy this process is. OK. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my text tool here. I'm just going to come over here and type out mom. All right, so I got my mom part of the design. I'm going to go to my fonts, and I'm going to use this font right here. And I'm going to get my sizing right. So the edit tab, I'm going to tighten up my spacing on that mom design a little bit. And 9.3 inches, that's pretty perfect right there. We can make it a little bit taller if we want. Now I'm going to go over to my place and fill. And I'm going to go one island to the inside at 0 0.075 inches because I want to use some SS10 stones. I'm going to do an island fill. Click on the black part, same amount to the outside, island fill. This outside area, I'm going to go at 0.15 and an island fill. Now, I'm going to show you some colors here just so you know what I'm working with as I'm doing this. I wouldn't normally do this part, but these are all my colors right there, okay? So here's my heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to click on the black. I'm going to do a corner detect. Let me select my stone color. We'll do amethyst. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and add stones to the path. And what that's going to do is drop those stones perfect on there. Highlight it. Clear my pass. Check that out. Now the green area, I'm going to click on the green. Shift click to the blue. And then I'm going to do back minus front. It got rid of that green area. So now we have that, that, and the stones. And check this out. With our corner detect and all the features in the wizard that automates for you, all of those stones are perfect there. I don't have to do one bit of editing. And the stones are nice and tight together. We aren't going to show you some generic design where the stones and the spacing is way out. It doesn't look like something you'll be able to sell. Okay, now I'm going to click on my purple, select same color. Let's go ahead and merge my overlaps. It's a one-click feature. You don't have to do it four or five times. One click, it merged the overlaps, even if there's three circles on top of each other. Did it in a split second. Now I'm just going to get rid of those blue outlines. I'll right-click on my X there. And we are done with the mom design. So we can change these to whatever color we want. So we can go red, we can go silver, we can change our stone color to whatever we want. Now I'm going to grab some baseball laces. I'm going to bring these in here right quick, and we are going to show you how to do the baseball laces part of this design. So check this out. Got my laces in. These are some laces that we have available on our website as a download file from the rhinestoneworld.com. And I'm going to place that set of laces right there, and I'm going to mirror it and duplicate it right there. And I'm going to place that set of laces right there, so they're going opposite ways. I'm going to click on my laces, shift click on my other. Let's go ahead and weld those together. Now I'm going to click on the laces. I'm going to go to the outside at, let's go 0 0.09. And we don't need a corner detect, don't need to add stones. We're going to do an island fill. Click on that right there. And that's going to create an island fill around these laces. Bam, there we go. Click on my red, shift click to my gray. I'm going to hit my intersect button so I can delete my red now. Click on my white, shift click on my gray. I'm going to do back minus front, and bam, there you go. Check out that. Those laces are in there perfect now. Pretty awesome looking design. Pretty cool, isn't it? How easy was that? 
Now let's click on both of my red areas right there. So I'm going to go red, shift click to the laces. Let's go ahead and weld those together. Now they're actual one object, one object here and my stones. Now the easiest part of it, we have over 200 and I think over 225 rhinestone true type fonts to date right now. I just type in baseball right here. And the wizard is so dynamic, does so many different things. Check this out. I go to fonts. I'm using my TRW04 superscript font right here. Awesome looking font. But check this out. Go to the wizard. If I, You can see when I zoom in, we got some ovals. We got some multiple stone sizes. Watch how easy this is. Click on it. If I want it to be tens and sixes, the wizard is smart enough to know if I hit no right there to search the design. These are perfect for SS10s. Those are perfect for SS6s. No overlaps. Everything's perfect, and it shaped them into perfect circles. Now I can grab this right here, drag it down a little bit. If I want to use my arrows, I can use my arrows to hit it perfect. That's looking good right there. And I'm going to change my purple, select same color to the black, select same color. All the stones are the same color now, and this design is done. So what did it take me? Maybe four minutes to create a design from scratch. We could have had this say Mustang's mom. We could have had it say anything. So all the different features with the TRW Stone Wizard and Corel Draw here and how powerful the wizard is to be able to think of and to be able to see, hey, multiple stone sizes. You don't have to click on a bunch of different buttons to change it to the different circles and make sure the circles are circles and not ovals. It does all that for you in one click and knows multiple stone sizes in a font like this. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Now check this out. One of the coolest things about the wizard, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change them all to crystal stones. I don't need another add-on software to make a mock-up. It's all built into the wizard, and the best part about it is it's actual real images. So watch. Let's just say I wanted a quick proof of this, okay? Quick little proof. I can go to my mock-ups here. We can go to TRW logo. I'm going to go simulate stones and logo. If you want something real quick, we could just do this. A background, a watermark, simulate stones. I hit add. It's going to run through it real quick for me, and check that out. Bam. There you go. Stone simulations, watermarks, everything on it. Perfect for you. Go back to page one. There's our original design. Well, of course, we want to use glitter heat transfer vinyl. Click on our magic vinyl. Make that red glitter. Make that silver glitter. Maybe white glitter. Now we got the glitter look. Highlight it. Go to mock-ups. We want this to go on to a long sleeve shirt. Check this out. I'm going to change my background color to whatever you want. Let's change it to a gray because we wanted to go on a black shirt. So click on this shirt right here. It's going to process through right here. It's going to add my logo. It's going to simulate my stones for me. And not only that, inside the actual wizard without any extra software, it's going to drop it perfectly onto a shirt for me here. So check this out. Boom. Change the shirt color to a black shirt. Now you have an actual shirt. It's not a drawing of a shirt. It's not a cartoony looking. It's an actual shirt of somebody wearing a shirt. If you wanted it to be a yellow shirt, click, right click on the black background. Check that out. There's a yellow shirt. There's a turquoise shirt. You can change the shirt to any color you want on the fly. And it looks exactly like a shirt that that customer is going to be wearing. Now what we can do is, hey, let's add a little something to it. Click on magic bling right here. Hey, why not add a couple bling stars? We're using rhinestones, so we want to make it look like it's blinging. Again, all built into the one program right here with this plugin for Corel Draw. So everything's completely done for you. Go back to page one if you want to again see our different colors. Select the same color, go to black, and we are good to go. Now, of course, hey, what do we need to do? We need to color separate this. We need to get this ready to send to our cutter, use our sticky flock template material, whatever it is. We can highlight this, go to templates, TRW magic templates. Let's right click on that. Bam. All done. This is mirrored for me already. This is our SS6s. This is our SS10s. All perfectly color separated for you in a split second with one click. Okay. So pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, 
I like to show you the process from start to finish, but some real designs. I like to give you real looking designs, tight stone spacing that you can use with the template material and something that you're going to actually be able to sell to customers. And that's the whole purpose is, hey, everything is built into one software. You don't need additional softwares and you can knock out all of this. I mean, in a matter of seven, eight minutes right here, we created this design from scratch. We created a mock-up for our customers and we created the color separations to be able to send to our vinyl cutter. And I would say to create the actual design, it took us maybe four minutes. So very, very easy to do. If you do have any questions on the TRW Stone Wizard, feel free to give us a call. Number's 941-755-1696. Check out our YouTube channel. We have the largest inventory of YouTube videos for any program out there when it comes to rhinestones and multi-decoration design. So check those out. We'll teach you everything. But we look forward to you being a wizard user soon. If you do have any questions, again, make sure to give us a call. Number's 941 755 1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a wonderful day.